name is Zoltan. Um, I gave it up about 12 months ago because I had a need for a tool that I couldn't find. So I thought I'd quit my nice well painting job and go and build it. And so that's what I've done. We've just launched uh, about six weeks ago just before South by Southwest. I was out there, that was cool. And um, so we're in the process of just building building traction, basically. So it's called Mood Share. The strap is selling ideas just got easier. And there's a quick, a really quick presentation and then against sort of everyone's better judgment, I'm gonna do a live demo. Uh, so Mood Share unites awesome media search with collaborative mood board creation. And that all makes sense in a sec. Single search results across many services. It's real-time, multi-user collaboration. Uh, it's truly multimedia. There's no distinction between, I don't know if you even know what a mood board is. I should have probably prefaced this whole thing with what a mood board is, but when you're trying to sell an idea in the creative industries, you're like, my idea's awesome and it's in my head, but you can't see it. So it's a little bit like this other thing that somebody else has made. You know, like the style of photography looks like this, or model to use look like this, or the director we use has this, or whatever it might be. So it's a way of um, allowing your clients to understand what's in your head without spending any of their money, essentially. So it's secure because obviously the whole uh, industry advertising, but it's bigger than that, fashion, graphics, um, architecture, interior design. It's all built on the ability to sell ideas and ideas are valuable. So it's secure and above all it's easy sharing. So who's it for? It's a business tool aimed at creative professionals across pretty much the whole spectrum, probably not musicians, because they're not so visual, maybe not writers, but everybody else, essentially, that's, that's in the creative industry. So it's a pretty big market. Um, my background's advertising, as I said, so we're starting there. In terms of numbers, like that's a pretty big uh, business, like 100 billion in the States. I think this was 200, 2009. I mean like 11 billion pounds here. So there's a lot of money floating around and that's just one of those sectors. Um, so what's the benefit? Well, it saves everybody time. It saves the agency time, it saves the client time. But actually the, the really interesting part and the part that I think sets us apart from all the other players in the space is that what we are encouraging is that agencies invite their clients into the process earlier. It's known to work, you know, I don't know how many of you are from a creative background or work in the creative industries, but if you let your client into the process and allow them to take shared ownership of the idea, what happens is that when they go through to their boss to sell their ideas to go and make it happen, they've already got some sense of ownership over the idea, they're going to advocate a lot more strongly than they would have done otherwise. So at the end of the day, although the benefit is that it saves time and obviously time's money, the real, the real benefit to the agencies is that it deepens the relationship with the client. And everybody knows, or if you're in the industry, you know, you know you're pitching a lot, clients are, they can be flippant, um, and it's tough. You know, there's lots of people, somebody's always gonna be cheaper. So this is actually a tool that's a business tool built for agencies, which allows you to deepen your relationship with your clients. So here we go. Live demo, wish me luck. <laughs> <coughs> so this is it. This is the, the list of projects. So you know it's structured around the way that agencies work. You've got projects, and within projects you've got boards. So this first project, for example, is is one of our internal things. There's, you know, maybe you've done some work for the Dark Lord. Potentially, um, agent provocateur, maybe if you're a bit luckier. <laughs> BMW, Google. So this is just like a, an idea of sort of an average agency has a bunch of clients and they've got a bunch of projects for each client. Obviously you can have multiple projects for the same client and all the rest of it. But anyway, we'll jump into a board so this is one board within the, the project. So this is a project for Google Earth. 
you know, maybe it's not going so well, or there's a competitor, whatever, you know what I mean? They've got a marketing problem. And so they're like, okay, we need to, to do something. So there's three steps to the process. The first one is, as I said, awesome media search. Um, I don't know what we want to search for, but it's live, so it worked. If anybody wants to suggest something, that'd be cool. Shortage. Okay. <laughs> So what we do is basically thread together results from multiple search properties, or not search properties, multiple properties, right? So we do images, videos, we're getting in fonts, music, Twitter, color, the whole range of stuff, right? Because media search is fragmented at the moment, and it sucks. You know, you want to go to, you want to go to Google, or you want to go to Flickr, there's great photos on Flickr, right? There's amazing photos on Corvus or Getty, and they all, you know, cost me or whatever, or you need a video. So, but you've got to go to all these places separately. You've got to open a thousand tabs in your browsers and then download everything to your desktop and then put it in Photoshop and piss around with the layers, and it's just, you know, it's not good. And there had to be a better way, which is what I thought. There had to be a better way. So, it's totally not safe for work. It doesn't matter what you put in, you will get a naked woman. <laughs> but, um, so there you go. So we hit Google, Flickr, Barca, YouTube, Vimeo, Twitter, Color Lovers, which is a color API. As I said, we're putting in fonts, we're putting in music, we're putting in all the like rights managed libraries. So we've, we've got Shutterstock, although it's just not live, and they've got another one called Big Stop, with Getty, Corbus, like all of them. So it's basically single stop search for media, no matter what it might be. So there's a business model behind this particular bit of it, which is if people click through from us to buy the rights managed stuff, we'll get the affiliate commission. That's not the business model of the whole service. It's a freemium thing. So the agency pays a tiered subscription based on the number of concurrent boards they need. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's it. So if you want to keep something, it's just as simple as adding it to the light box, and there it goes. So there's a bit of social, I don't know what this is going to be, but, oh, there's no sound. There we go, happy days, bit of skating in shortage, yeah, alright, good, we'll keep that. <laughs> you know, whatever this is. There you go, if anyone's been to catch. So we'll keep that. And of course, if something's giving you good results, you can just give it more, more rows. So what it does is it becomes a very, very, very fast way to look at lots and lots of media. And this is the problem that I had when I was working. It's just like, as I said, it's fragmented and it sucks and you've got to spend like all day looking for images, right? But with this, you can do the same thing in, I don't know, one-tenth of the time, basically. So once you've collated all that you need to collate, and you've got all your bits and bobs, then you go in, and this is the, the way you make the board. So it's drag and drop. You just drag stuff out, scale it. Um, here's a video. You can upload stuff if you've got if you've got things on your computer because you know sometimes you just can't find that perfect whatever it might be. So you can upload things, and then once you've got it sort of ready, you just go and share it. So you add people to the board. They have to log in if you want them to. You know what I mean? So it's secure. You can be sure that. Your Nike client's not going to go and find out what the other person's doing or whatever it might be, or like some other agency's going to steal your ideas. It's all good. Um, and yeah, that's, that's kind of it. You know, there's snapshots, which are basically just versions of the board. And again, you can make these, uh, you can make people <coughs> log in. I don't know if this one's actually needing that. <coughs> This is not what I just made because I didn't save it, but it's the other one. If you want to play the video, you can. If 
you want to play multiple videos, you can. Captain's Law, starting <coughs> 459441.1. If anyone's interested. So yeah, what we do is break down the distinction between <coughs> static references, motion references, put it all in a place where you can easily share it with your client, you can invite them in. They can go like, oh, I don't really like that one, change it, and you can go and change it. Speeds up the process, you get the right direction, and everybody's happy, hopefully. <laughs> That's it. All right. Yeah. Yep. The is awesome. It's like an absolutely amazing product. I guess my background's advertising as well, and I spent a lot of time doing that kind of thing. Uh -huh. Uh, do you think the problem's big enough? You know, for me, I just sit there and pull things into keynotes and, right. and that's it, you know. <coughs> do you have enough people have this problem? I do, I do. I mean, there's, there's a site that I've found, there's 300,000 design agencies in the UK. That, like, I find that hard to believe, but apparently it's true. They're all quite small. Um, in the bigger agencies, you tend to, like, the image search problem isn't such a problem, right, because you've got junior guys or girls and you just go, look, run away and find me like a thousand images of X and they can do it. But in a small business, you don't have that sort of resource on hand and you've got to do it yourself and you've got to open a hundred browsers in Chrome or whatever and download everything individually. So I think the time saving to the agency is, is a pro is, sorry, it's a, it's a solution for small agencies as much as it is big. But but what I said before and what I think is really important is that it allows you to work in a way, it doesn't force you, but it allows you to work in a way where you can bring the client into the process earlier, in a way that you can, you can make sure you're going in the right direction much quicker without a thousand PowerPoints, you know what I mean? I've been in that situation countless times, right? and versions of PowerPoint and all this sort of rubbish. And I know there are other things that solve that these days, it's not such a problem. But, but yeah, I, that's, that's essentially it, I do. And so that's in the UK, right? And that does, that only, that, tested the No, we've just launched, yeah. we've just launched. And um, I was in New York, <laughs> shopping it around a little bit. Um, we've got a few people over there using it. Everybody seems really excited. You know, the media search, everybody's like, wow, that media search is cool, you know? And it might be that that's what we end up doing. Who knows? But at the moment, it's sort of like, we set out to build this mood board tool, we built it. It works, people seem to like it. And, and that's really it. You know, we're self-funded up until now. We're getting to the point, we've got traction, we've got numbers, I, if anybody's interested, I can talk to you further about that. Uh, but yeah, we're looking for funding. We need staff, basically, so we can iterate faster, is what it comes down to. Yeah, I just want to ask, do you, do you think your companies and your solutions are bigger than the problem at hand? It's kind of almost a, a, a version of the question you've been previously asked. To me, that, that's I'm completely blown away, and I think that that's a, a Google. It's not a, you know, a, my, my, my personal take on that would be to open it up and then use the upsell to the mood board for the, you know, do a few months away, but concentrate right. on the main search and presentation for media, because Google is terrible at doing that. Yeah, of course. Well, Google's got the same problem. No matter how good they got they've got the same problem as everybody else. Although they aggregate lots of things, they don't, uh, I'm pretty sure you don't get Getty stuff on Google, like Corbus, and yeah, they're all pretty locked down. Right? So, We've got commercial agreements with these guys, and, and our market uh, creative, is creative professionals. And you might be right, you know. We might actually make a lot more money out of the affiliate community selling Corbus and Getty stuff than we ever do selling the mood board subscription. But that's something that we just need to test, you know. So, I, uh, so I've done the search for the mood board. I can send it to someone, they can log in and view it. Is yep. there any other way to output it? Can I send the mood board out to Kino? Can I save the files? You will be able to. Drive? Right today, right now, on in my live demo note. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we've got a roadmap, like everybody <coughs> in the room, we've got a roadmap as long as my arm. And it all comes down to just 
you know resource essentially.